Last year when Chevy launched the all-new, much-anticipated Colorado, they did it at a beach in San Diego. I'm not saying they got anything to hide, but this is how you launch a mid-sized pickup truck. Meet the 2016 Toyota Tacoma. It's been 10 years since they've redesigned it, but all the changes are impressive. And this playground called Black Diamond, just outside of Seattle, is very impressive. We are really putting these trucks to the test. We're going to show you why this is the better buy. Let's take a quick look at what's going on up front with the all-new Tacoma. You have a new trapezoidal grill. In fact, each one of the five trim levels gets a unique grill. The angle of approach is very important when you're off-roading. 29 degrees is the standard angle, but the TRD models, which account for 40 to 45% of sales, they get a 32 degree angle of approach. So you got a lot going on here. You also have an optional hood scoop on the TRD model. It's not functional, but it looks great. The 2016 Tacoma is available in five trim levels and two engine options. The base engine, the 2.7 liter four cylinder, is only on the base model, the SR. You can get that with a five speed manual or a six speed automatic. But the optional engine on the base and the standard engine on the top four trim levels is this 3.5 liter V6, producing 278 horsepower and 265 pound feet of torque. It has both port and direct fuel injection, and you can get it with a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic, depending on the trim level. And of course, you can get it in four by two or four by four. A lot of changes in the rear end of the new Tacoma. You have an integrated rear spoiler. You have a backup camera standard, a new three-piece bumper. That's designed so that if you damage one part of it, you don't have to replace the whole thing. Towing has been increased by 300 pounds on the TRD models because they have an eight and three-quarter inch differential versus the eight inch for the other Tacoma models. Back here, you have a dampened tailgate and you have these uh, integrated rail system with tie down. So if you've got to put things back here, you can tie down. This is a composite uh, bed. And the reason they do that is because of weight and durability. The changes on the interior of the 2016 Tacoma are much less radical than the exterior. So you have a new 7.1 inch standard uh, infotainment system. And I think it works quite nicely. I like the uh, color matched uh, framing around the uh, information screen, and uh, that's only on the TRD models. Uh, the Tacoma water bottles, those are not uh, standard. Of course, we mentioned the six-speed automatic and the new six-speed manual. You also have a new 4.2-inch uh, information display, and uh, it's full color, so it comes in quite handy. On TRD models with four-wheel drive, you will have uh, your multi-terrain control up top. As we demonstrated, that comes in very handy. Overall, again, uh, the interior volume didn't change since the chassis basically didn't change. They just kind of moved things around, updated the knobs and switches, and I think it works. It's a little bit bold and in your face. Might not work for everyone, but I found it quite appealing. The 2016 Tacoma is available in five trim levels. The base SR, followed by the SR5, TRD Off-Road, TRD Sport, and Top of the Line Limited. Base price on an SR 4x2 and 4 cylinder is $23,300. The top of the line limited double cab 4x4 V6 is $37,820. We just completed the on road portion of the Tacoma Drive, and you know, the vehicle is definitely better than the outgoing model. The changes are kind of evolutionary, not revolutionary, meaning they're incremental changes uh, that make the truck. A better vehicle all around drives a little nicer but it's not huge uh, huge step up uh, overall though it's an amazing truck it has great heritage and we expect this one to be just as good if not better than the outgoing model as far as longevity and reliability from an interior standpoint they made some nice enhancement one thing you won't find in this vehicle is Apple CarPlay or Google AutoPlay instead uh, Toyota has gone with uh, a new system, a very small company called Scout, and uh, that will be their version. It's not going to have the full functionality of an Apple CarPlay, but 
uh, nevertheless, uh, it's the way they're going. So with all the vehicles Toyota sells, who knows, they may become a major player in that, in that field. I commend Toyota for launching this vehicle uh, with so much off-road activity to showcase the capabilities. Uh, that was not the case with the Colorado Canyon. That was uh, positioned more as a recreational vehicle, even though it is a legitimate truck, meaning a body on frame. While the Colorado Canyon are direct competitors oh for the Tacoma, the bigger picture is going to be whether or not you can live with a vehicle this size because for about the same amount of money, you can find deeply discounted full-size trucks that just offer more functionality. But the Tacoma is certainly a unique truck with legendary off-road capabilities and, and that's been well showcased here today. This entire area did not exist until Toyota carved it out a couple of weeks ago. Behind me is a 37 degree drop that's using hill descent control. That's all technology using the ABS and the four wheel drive system to manage the speed of this vehicle and maintain uh, complete traction. Earlier we did a test of 41 degrees going uphill and downhill. Going uphill, we didn't even have to touch the accelerator. As you can see, this truck is firmly planted as the top of the segment and I think now with all the new changes, the new styling, uh, the, the upgrades to the engine, it's just going to continue to increase market share.